Hello everyone, Chief Meteorologist Brian Hale. Warm and humid for the overnight and plenty warm and humid for our daytime forecast through the week. Here you can see overnight partly cloudy skies and temperatures in the mid-70s. And as far as daytime temperatures, we'll be pushing right up there around the low 90s. And the southeast winds won't be quite so blowy as they've been over the past few, few days, but still we're going to have 10 to 15 mile an hour southeast winds working with available sunshine to make it feel warm and humid across the valley. Tuesday into Wednesday, it's all pretty much the same. That southeast breeze, fairly humid conditions, and temperatures up in the low 90s. Now, the question is, will a rogue shower or thunder shower manage to form, especially if some energy comes rolling off the mountains in Mexico from our southwest? That's a possibility. It's not a real high likelihood, but it's a possibility. It's not in my graphical forecast, but I'm just going to mention it just so you know that it is a long shot. Uh, your statistics for rain for the month, well, we're looking at uh, pretty much ahead of the game for Harlingen and for McAllen still, but Brownsville well behind an inch and a quarter. As far as the reservoirs, Falcon 274.22 down significantly more than two and a quarter in the last seven days. Amistad is down a little bit to 1095.93. The drought condition map looks pretty good with some of the storms we've had rolling on through the valley in the last few weeks. We've pretty much shrunken the uh, severe drought condition zone on down to the mid to lower valley. Extremes still exist right along the coast. And then you've got only moderate drought zone on up through a majority of Hidalgo and a sliver of star. Why is there no color for star or Jim Hogg or portions of Zapata? Well, because basically the overall drought conditions aren't that bad. It's like moderately dry, you know, not real bad. So that's good news. But trust me, folks, this here's deep south Texas. And before long, those are liable to fill back in. The 6 to 10 day forecast is upbeat in that uh, the driest conditions will be on up toward the Mississippi Valley in the Midwest and way out west, where we'll be kind of right on par with what we should be for this time of year. As well, the 6 to 10 day temperature forecast actually has us a little bit below, maybe a degree or two for the six to 10 day slot. Humidity, well, we pointed out that that's more than likely gonna to continue to be well enforced across the valley. It's come back since this last weekend, and it looks like it's back to stay at least through the middle part of the week. The darker greens representing the more humid conditions across the Rio Grande Valley. Seven day forecast has your temperatures near the mid 90s in the upper valley and the low 90s, barely 90 on some days there for the lower valley forecast and just sort of a mix of clouds each and every day and again that rogue shower possible especially for the upper valley in the evenings late afternoon to evening but again it's such a long shot i decided not to put it on the graphic that's a look at your 24 7 